me know down below if you see the similarities that I see or if you're like, Jan, what the heck are you talking about? That is so far off because that could also be very valid. My brain works in mysterious ways. Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a pretty popular booktube video that I've never actually done on my channel so I thought I would take my stab at it but it is the if you like this try this tag I guess is it a tag I don't know but essentially what it is is that I give one book and if you happen to like that book I'm going to give a suggestion of another book that you might possibly like because it is similar in some way so without further ado let us get started I tried to pick a mixture of genres and things so that it wasn't all just one note but you can let me know in the comments if I actually achieve this. The first pairing that I actually have are two graphic novels that I think go so well together, in my humble opinion. The first is The Adventure Zone by the McElroy brothers. It follows these three characters, Taco, Magnus, and Meryl. It's actually a podcast that these brothers have of them playing Dungeons and Dragons and it's like the graphic novel version of the podcast but I just find this graphic novel to be so much fun. I gave all three that I've read a five out of five stars. If you like the Adventure Zone graphic novel, I think that you would really love Bubble by Jordan Morris. It actually has very, very similar humor, and it is also based off of a very popular adult podcast. And a fun little fact, this graphic novel actually has an interview with the McElroy brothers in the back, which I found really interesting because apparently they're both from the same podcast like production team which was kind of interesting. But it's basically about a woman who partakes in an app that allows you to be hired to hunt monsters. And so she's a part-time monster hunter and then she uses the parts of the monsters and brings them to her roommate Annie who turns them into drugs as a little side hustle. And like I said, I just think that the humor in both of these are very very similar. I loved both of them. I gave them both five stars. So if you like this one, then you should probably pick up this one. And if you like this one, you should probably pick up this one. The next pairing that I have is one that is a very popular YA book from like last year and it is Ace of Spades. This one follows these two characters who are at a private school. They are the only black students at this private school and they become the senior class prefix. But then shortly after that announcement, uh, an anonymous person who goes by aces starts sending out mass text messages that reveal secrets about these two. And it's basically them trying to figure out who this person is and how they can keep their secrets hidden. But if you liked this one, which I really did, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, then you might like All of This Is True by Lydia Day Penafor. I'll insert a picture of like the actual cover. This is an ARC version of it. It follows a very similar plot line to this one where an anonymous person in this group of for leaks a secret that helps a very famous novelist who these four teenagers are obsessed with write her next book and it's like the story of them trying to figure out which of the four teens unveiled this secret to this famous author. This one I gave 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's a lot of fun. This one we get text messages, this one we get like email exchanges as well as text messages so I think it's pretty similar in that aspect too. Also like the color scheme is kind of similar too but besides the point. Both of them really fun. Definitely recommend if you liked this one to check out this one. If you like this one, My. check out this one. The next pairing I have are two YA fantasy novels. The first one being Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I feel like I don't really need to give a synopsis for Caraval. I feel like at this point everybody knows what Caraval is about but essentially it is a magic traveling circus game kind of thing where a girl sister goes missing and it's discovered that in order to win Carval you have to find this missing sister and it's like the story of this game. Yeah. My pairing for Carval is Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angeles. I think that they're pretty similar vibes. This one follows a girl who is one of the only female magicians known. She's very very powerful and she dreams of having her own show. She enters a competition to become the headliner of a traveling circus, but she is under the 
ruling thumb of a man named Jax, which is similar to this. This one has a lot of secrets between Scarlet, the main character, and Julian, who is trying to help her find her sister, but you never really know what is the truth and what is part of the game. And then this one has a lot of secrets between DeMarco, who is one of the judges for this competition that the girl enters, and Kalia, the main girl, and you never really know if what DeMarco is telling her is the truth or not. So if you like this one, I definitely recommend this one. If you like this one, definitely recommend this one. But I feel like a lot of people have read both of these books mm. at this point. The next pairing that I have are romance books and I think that these are probably the most similar out of all the ones that I have. I just think that they pair so well together and if you like one you'll definitely enjoy the other one. But it is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is another one that I feel like you don't really need to give a synopsis because everybody has read it but basically girl enemy with a guy at their office they become closer because they start competing for a job promotion and it leads to an office romance okay the book that i think you would like if you really enjoyed the hating games is meet me in the margins by melissa ferguson they both take place in publishing houses they're both office romances they're both enemies to lovers they're both lots of fun i gave both of them five out of five stars so clearly i'm just into publishing house romances. <laughs> and then the final pairing that I have is Fable by Adrian Young and All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. I don't have a physical copy of All the Stars and Teeth so I'll just put a picture up if you want to see what the cover looks like. But both of these books involve traveling on the seas. They both involve pirates in some way. They're both a take on pirates but in very different ways. So I feel like if you liked Fable then you will probably like this one. And if you liked All the Stars and Teeth you'll probably like this one. If you would like traveling by sea books and pirates. I will say that I think All the Stars and Teeth is a lot more action-packed and more fun than Fable, but if you like a slow burn, check out Fable. All right, everybody, so those were the books that I think if you liked one, you would probably like the other. Let me know down below if you see the similarities that I see or if you're like, Jan, what the heck are you talking about? That is so far off because that could also be very valid. My brain works in mysterious ways. If you are interested in more videos in this format, then let me know if you think that I'm delusional and these pairings make no sense, then also tell me that and, um, I won't make any more of these videos. Let me know down below if you can think of any books that are similar to these that I might enjoy, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!